Hello and very welcome back to my experiments with Arch Linux in this epic series of me, the Linux noob versus the Arch Linux system. And today I will be talking about I will be talking about graphical package managers, especially for Arch Linux. So as you may have already heard me tell you that, but Arch Linux is basically the first Linux distribution in a long time that I am working with, so I've been working on exclusively Windows 10 systems in the last two or three years. Before that I used Windows 8 and Windows 7, and maybe like 10 years ago when I was in high school, <laughs> and that was more than 10 years ago, then once I tried SUSE Linux, but didn't do much of it with that. So, I didn't really have any prejudice about the Pac-Man package manager, I just accepted it for what it is because of my total... So it was totally new for me that you have a package manager. Well, I have Android uh, devices and I also have iPhone, which you use the official like uh, App Store to install applications. So in that respect, I kind of knew something, how these things work. But on Linux, so... It's not really true that I got directly to Arch Linux uh, into into the Arch Linux after Windows. Well, I'm technically I'm still on Windows. I'm just running these systems in the virtual box right now. But the first virtual environment I set up was this one, and this is uh, of course Linux Mint with the XFCE um, graphical interface the XFC desktop environment and it has this uh, update manager and the software manager tools to update the kernel with this one and this says, tells me that my system is up to date even though I don't think I started this virtual machine <laughs> in the last two months so whatever Linux Mint is not a rolling release so they don't push updates that often they only push uh, the security updates to their repositories. So that's it for that. And it has this kind of nice looking, friendly looking software manager where you can see all these uh, popular software. You can click on it and you get some information about it. You can install, you have some screenshots, whatever. And you are looking for something you can type in like uh, OBS and then you got the OBS Studio here, for example, you can install it from the repository. You don't know what you are looking for, just you want some office suits, and then you just click on office. Here's LibreOffice Writer, Veeam, Sublime, Nano. So it basically throws all the office programs at you, like what is Ed, what is Ni, what is Noble Note. Well, you can just click on it and take a look. It can take you to the uh, web page of the project, etc. So it was kind of a neat thing. Uh, this was the first uh, on my list of the Linuxes. So I was like, okay, so this is a software manager. This could be how I install the packages if I choose to be on Linux Mint, but so I chose Linux Mint for first try because I was... So Joe Collins' videos were the first that uh, sparked my interest in Linux recently. And he praises Linux Mint as kind of a newbie-friendly distro. So that was one of the choices I was running into. And the other one was, of course, uh, Manjaro with the Budgie desktop. Exactly how I came to this, I don't even remember who or what suggested me to try Manjaro with the budget desktop. I know that I like the budget desktop for from based on someone's review of the Solus uh, Solus distribution, and then I also liked someone's review of the Manjaro distribution. And so in the Manjaro distribution, you have this package manager, which is actually PAMAC. It is called PAMAC. Uh, in, 
In the Linux Mint, it is called Mint install. Yeah. Okay, let's go back to Panac. So this is Panac, and uh, it is for the first look, so it unifies all the things, so both the update manager of Linux Mint and both the software thingies. You can go to the repositories like Core, Extra, and Community, if that means anything to you, if which software is in which. I don't think that's what you will be searching software b based on. So you have you can go to the groups. These are different uh, package groups, and yeah, it's it's not really <laughs> the um, your categories. Yeah, categories is 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 more user friendly way. So probably this is what you would be trying to use, like the accessories, internet. And graphics, you have 3D, LUT, and uh, I don't know what, a lot of software here. GQE, actually I heard this is very good, so you can go for details and uh, you will get a very, very um, short description of this program. You can see what are dependencies, what are the files, and well, I found this a little more um, unfriendly than the one in Linux Mint, but whatever, you know, you can search. So if you are interested in some closed source proprietary um, software like Opera browser, you can try searching for it. And as you can see, <laughs> I managed to install it here so it's here in the internet and well so you can you see how it works so this is pamac and so if we are going back to our beloved um system here the arch linux install the, and we hit up the arch wiki which i already hit up for you <laughs> We can find in the Pac-Man slash tips and tricks in the end there is this graphical section which basically the front end graphical front front end for Pac-Man and you can find Oh you cannot find Pamac here? Oh well you cannot find Pamac here because Pamac is considered an AUR helper in by the Arch Wiki. So you can find game graphical yeah, this is a graphical, uh, basically graphical AUR helpers, which are kind of wrapping the AUR and the Pac-Man functionality into one. I mean, searching Pac-Man, no, nah. searching packages both in the AUR and the repositories, and it installs packages from both the official repositories, and it also builds and installs packages from the AUR and it can cause a lot of trouble if you are using them recklessly and what i would expect if you are installing a graphical front end for pac-man then you probably are using it recklessly well whatever okay so what is the question should i use any of these packages for managing my packages instead of the command line because well, you know, we are on Arch. Come on, why isn't, oh. I don't have, <laughs> okay, I forgot that I in this install I don't have this uh, little dock there. So we can go to the terminal, we can just say sudo pacman-syu, type in our password and, you know, it doesn't look as fancy as in the graphical case but it does its job it finds all your required um, packages that you can install and now we are not going to do that we will do that later we can see what we are missing and we can install them and I don't think for this purpose you need a graphical environment 
and when you are looking for new software, well, so it is kind of, you know, neat in, in the uh, Linux means that, especially in the Linux mean because you can see that in the, uh, in the uh, Manjaro we are kind of lost with all those tons of packages. It's quite nice, I can just go to the science and education, I can even go, okay, I just want math software. Uh, or I just want the educational software or electronics software, whatever. I go to the internet and I just want the email clients here or sound and video and I only want video players or, well, it also seems to include some video editors. So it is, it's kind of a neat approach. I would say in in the PEMEC for the uh, Manjaro, oh, what was this? <laughs> it is a little, well, more difficult to find your stuff. So if you want to um, install something, you probably want to know what you want to install. And for Arch Linux, I think, Basically, if you are using Arch Linux, you probably kind of know already. So, of course, in Arch Linux, you can always just go to the packages part of the Arch Linux page. And if you know what you want, you can just go for Opera, for example. Let's just search for that and it will show that there is the package which is called Opera. So you can just go to Pacman. If you want more information, dash si opera. And here you get some basic info for the package, but also you can just click here and well, you can read all what you want. It's not like a very verbose <laughs> description of the package, but you can go to the project homepage, for example, and um, stuff like that. And of course, some packages won't be available there. You will have to go for the AUR and uh, get the packages built for by, by yourself. So there is, for example, a Peertube package for the um, from the AUR and then you also get the uh, project web page so we you can get to the home page and get the information you want but basically you should know what software you're looking for if you are using the Arch Linux or you have another one more option so if you are like okay I'm not familiar with Linux I am using a Windows computer and I use Winamp for my music and I use, I don't know, Earfam View to view images and I know that these are, well, <laughs> Winamp has not been updated in the last five years and it's never, it was never free software. Well, it was a freeware, but you know, it's not a free and open source software and like, uh, Earfam view is also freeware, but it's not free software in a sense. So there is no Linux version. So you can go to this page, list of applications on the Arch Wiki. And basically this whole page will have everything from, you know, like multimedia, image, audio, and video and internet and utilities development uh, environments, office document and te text editing things like office stuff, security stuff, science stuff, and well, others, even like project re recipe management and also project management right next to each other. So almost everything that can be found packaged for Arch Linux either in the main repositories or in the AUR, you can find it 
in this list of applications, maybe maybe except for the games, because if I remember, yeah, core utilities and games are in different on different pages here. But you can you know go to turn-based games and you can find OpenXCOM here, and you can see like which are the AUR packages that are available for this uh, game and for like battle for West North, it's in the main repositories, etc. So I think that every functionality that a software like the uh, this Linux Mint software manager would give you in finding your the software you like you can basically do it in the archwiki and from the archwiki you can get directly to the package that you will need for the uh, for the package like you want a settlers to like game you can check will the widelands be good for me and you can check the home page you can decide maybe it's for you and you can see it's in the official repositories so you can just okay i will need to get pacman to install wildlands so every functionality is available in the great arch linux home page i think the verdict is that you don't need any graphical uh, environment graphical package management graphical pacman front end for you to find the software you need for Arch Linux and this amount of typing that uh, using the command line Pacman to install software won't hurt you. I am qui quite confident in that. So this is my final wor word. Just use Pacman and use the Arch Linux website and probably you won't run into any trouble and I will see you next time. Bye.